to the people who record themselves crying and then post it to a social media. Why? I'm just waiting for someone to answer the question that it was actually towards. My cousin did this. He was going through depression and had underlying mental issues he never properly addressed as a child. It wasn't for attention. It was his way of screaming for help. Well I only did it once because I used to have a YouTube channel where I would post videos of my first cockadeal but one day she passed away and I was just telling the people who would watch my videos why I would not be posting and then I broke down and started crying. I've done this in the past. It was because I was really sad and alone and wanted someone to comfort me. I didn't have anyone I could personally reach out to. People are like, why would record yourself crying and post it? That's so attention seeking. But then when someone commits suicide it's, why didn't they tell anyone they were struggling? I guess since everybody else is just going to reply with anecdotes and talk about how much better they are than that, I'll bite. I did that once. Why? Like a lot of people suggested. Attention. I was 14. I was alone. I was hurting. I wanted someone to tell me I would be okay. And I wasn't getting that IRL. So I went online and recorded myself crying and trying to talk about what was upsetting me. I got a lot of assholes responding. Because people seemed so excited to tear down a sad little girl. But I did get kind responses too. And when I felt better I thanked the people who were kind and deleted the video. Sometimes people just need a few nice words. And I don't think they're bad for that. ETA. This was truly years ago. And I am good and quite stable now. Our baby. Now 6. Ended up having a tongue tie that we got revised and it made a huge difference. Someone reported this for fear of self-harm I guess. So I wanted to clarify. Greater than greater than greater than years ago I posted a raw photo of myself crying to Instagram. I was 2 months postpartum having a horrible time breastfeeding, and wanted to show other mothers that they were not alone in the raw struggle of motherhood, that every moment is not scripted and that it's okay to be real on social media even when the world seems to value a fake facade. Even if people are looking for attention doesn't mean they aren't doing it for a reason. My parents beat and neglected me. I was their adopted slave to work their farm and collect the check the state. I was screaming for attention in all sorts of abnormal ways crying to social media always felt like a last ditched effort to find someone who actually cares about me for once. Never worked and I learned from it. Some people are growing and I apologize for my ignorance. Dunno. I was crying over a movie so I put a picture on my Instagram story and said that the movie I was crying over was so frocking sad but worth the watch. I cry over a lot of things. When you're feeling down and out. Full of worry. Full of doubt. When you're filled with deep despairs. When you're sad and no one cares. When you're bleak and broken. Blue. I shall tell you what to do. Listen closely. Don't forget. Put it on the internet. Leave Britney alone. I'm related to someone who does this. Basically they want sympathy and don't have people close by who can give it to them. There are plenty of people online who will tell you it's going to be okay. People want to be seen and understood. Most people don't make a big spectacle of themselves crying in public, unless they're looking for attention, and all of social media is looking for attention. So that goes 1000 times more there. Obviously there are going to be times when something horrible happens in public which makes you cry on the spot. And of course that's fine. But if you go out of your way to make a scene, out of proportion to the drama, it's a ploy for attention. I wanted people to ask me if I was okay. And I wanted people to know I was hurting. Why do Redditors ask the most passive-aggressive questions here knowing full well they won't get a legitimate answer? Nobody around them cares about them being sad and they are so desperate to find somebody to care about them they have to reach out to a larger audience in hopes there is somebody out there. Because they are sad and want support? I saw a TikTok of a woman crying because the babysitter had given her baby Benadryl and the child OD'd but all I could think about was why would you set up a camera during that phone call. I don't understand it either. I've only done it once and it was because my dog had just been put to sleep and I wanted friends and family to know. That was the easiest way to let everyone know at once that Minnie the Moocher had crossed the Rainbow Bridge. It's disturbing how many people in this thread think saying somebody is desperate for attention is an indictment of their character rather than something warranting sympathy. The whole point of crying would seem to be to bring attention to oneself. Learn from childhood right. Cry and someone comes. So in the social media age crying then posting to social media seems like a natural extension of this instinct. I've only done this if I've been overwhelmed by emotion when I was going to post something anyway. Once I was unboxing something I bought, and I got very nostalgic. And then once I was just very overwhelmed with the kindness of others. Also, I am a crier in offline life. It might be a cry for help sort of thing. So yes it's for attention but not in the way most people assume. 
husband was just put on the ventilator for COVID and I was isolated at home for COVID as well. I wasn't experiencing symptoms though. I was told he may not make it and frankly I lost my mind. I posted on social media asking for well wishing but broke down halfway through. He did make it. This thread has me thinking about the ways we perceive emotions and how we judge others for expressing negative emotions. People post things of themselves looking happy and smiling, laughing, posing to look sexy and so on but because we see those as positive emotional experiences we don't judge it the same way. Is sadness inherently something that needs to be experienced in solitude? Why? Other than the fact that we were socialized to process it that way? To normalize it as in it's okay to cry and feel sick. Hey mods. Maybe do the copypasta suicide help sticky comment on this one. I'm sure there are plenty of folks that are not having the greatest emotional response to this question. I can't do it but I wish I did. I'd love someone to console me. I'd love a bit of attention. It just feels so empty when you realize how much some things hurt but others will never realize. I took a picture of myself when my beloved companion passed. I only showed it to people that helped me through the process and were important to me. Not for attention. I wanted to share my vulnerability with the people I trust. Vulnerability is not a state I am in often. Sharing this moment with the right people made our bond stronger. Whenever I've done it, it was because I had no one to talk to. I'm not close to my family. I don't have a lot of friends and it's hard not having anyone to turn to. I also know I'm not the only one in that situation so. Not only am I reaching out because I need it, but I also want people in similar situations to know they're not alone. The most popular video I ever posted is a video where I'm crying and discussing how it feels not to have many friends and the loneliness that comes along with always being the one left out or cancelled on. I still have people message me to this day about that video and how much it helped them knowing other people out there can relate. Sometimes people need more attention than what they are getting and that's easier online than in real life. The internet is like a layer of protection. Who can hurt you without being near you? I've never posted a crying video before. But people on this thread seem to be demonizing this action. I don't think it's usually a ploy to get likes and attention. Sometimes it is. I honestly believe it's a natural reaction to gain empathy from one's peers when they are in desperate need for consolation. It's a cry for help, not some evil plan to gain internet points. Because sometimes everyone has abandoned them in life. All of their friends don't care about them anymore. Not even enough to check in or ask how they're doing. We feel isolated and alone and desperately want social interaction. The crying then posting is a final cry for help. 